A high-flying wired way across the water that tops tonight's Garden State Express. Our first stop, Bayonne, which may be the destination of a gondola from Staten Island to Bayonne and back. Planners hope to build a tramway with non-public funds at a cost of $60 million. The Staten Island Economic Development Corporation plans to take a gondola cap and around next month so folks can get a feel for it. Manhattan has one that goes back and forth to Roosevelt Island. Years ago, the Delaware River Port Authority spent millions of dollars designing and building bases for an aerial tramway between Camden and Philadelphia. But then the idea was quietly abandoned. Next to Barnegat Township, welcome home to the Ball family. Frank and Tamika Ball just got the keys to their three-bedroom house thanks to Wells Fargo and the Military Warriors Support Foundation. Frank was wounded in the Iraq War and received a Purple Heart. He's suffered from PTSD and other ailments and thought he'd never be able to get a home, especially after his wife fell ill and racked up medical bills. But the bank has a program to repurpose foreclosed houses and has donated hundreds to wounded veterans, mortgage-free in all 50 states. His tearful wife said this week, this is really a dream come true. Finally to Ocean City and the beginning of Comic-Con season in New Jersey. This is the second year for OC Con as they call it. The show will take place on the Music Pier Saturday and Sunday. Look for some famous faces. Star Wars Lando Calrissian, actor Billy Dee Williams scheduled for Saturday, signing autographs, posing for selfies and taking part in a panel discussion, and Seth Gilliam of The Walking Dead on Sunday. The OC Con drew nearly a thousand fans in the snow last April organizers anticipate an even bigger crowd this weekend. And that's our Garden State Express for March 31st, 2017. Something up in your neighborhood? Tip us off.